Hello, Raising Wellness Tribe. Uh, welcome back to another video with me. My name is Shelby. If you guys are new to my channel, then just to let you know, on this channel we talk all about living simply, mindfulness, healthy eats, and just how to live your best life. And this is supposed to be a community of people who have come together. This is a safe space for all of us to learn together, to chat with each other, and just to really build that community feeling. I run transformation groups on my Facebook page, so if you guys are interested in coming more together, that is a great space to do that. Drop some info in the comments below if you would like some more info about those and don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell there so you can get alerted every time I come out with a video I come out with the video once a week for your viewing pleasure so I hope that you guys will subscribe and thank you so much I appreciate you and in this video I really want to talk about manifestation and I know this is a really hot topic that a lot of people talk about and I've come from a past of working with it myself and being a newbie maybe like you are now or being well versed in it maybe like you are now but there comes a point in time where you feel like especially if you're new that this isn't working and you've heard all these success stories you've seen people have really fantastic results from manifesting but you're not seeing them for yourself. So I really wanna hone in today on the one thing that is truly missing from making manifestation work for you. If you don't know what manifesting is, if you're very new to this world, it is intentionally creating something in your life or creating the space for it to come into your life through and your intention, through your focus, through your ability to manifest. And I have my notes here so that I can stay on track because there's so many things to talk about with manifesting, but I really want to hone in on this one simple topic that's really going to help you start seeing changes. and. When I first came to this world of manifesting, when I first came into this like yogic way of life or this new age way of life, manifesting was the first thing that I found because it was a tool that was new to me. It was like, you can get whatever you want and life is beautiful. And I was like, yes, I want that because I came to this space from a space of depression, anxiety. I talk a lot about that on my channel and I hope you guys can see some of those other videos, but I, I didn't come to it from a good space. So when I first came into this realm, manifesting was something that I was like putting my toe in a little bit and then kind of like stepping back because nothing was happening. And a lot of, I see a lot of new people do that. They come into it through a space of seeing it, seeing that it's awesome, but not fully believing in it or trusting it. And that's where things get tricky. So I want to touch upon this if my notes won't close on me. So you have to have unwavering belief and trust in this process for it to work. And when I mean unwavering, I mean do not let any fearful thoughts get in your way. And it gets tricky because it requires faith in the not yet seen. It requires us to go against a lot of what we've heard as children, such as, I'll believe it when I see it, right? We've all heard that. And it's, it's so true how blocked we keep ourselves, how limited we keep ourselves from creating a beautiful world, from creating a beautiful life because we're stuck in, I need to see it to believe it. I need to see it right here and now to know that it's possible so that I can feel comfortable in moving forward with whatever your vision is. But if you say and believe in, I'll believe it when I see it, then things like planes 
automobiles, rocket ships, those types of things would have never been created, you guys. When they were first invented, the Wright brothers, like, planes weren't a thing. Uh, rocket ships weren't a thing. And they went out and, not the Wright brothers, they didn't create rocket ships, but <laughs> um, they went out and they had a vision. They had a vision that they were going to fly an airplane. It wasn't called an airplane at the time, but they had a vision that they were gonna fly. They were gonna find a way to fly. Just like America and Russia both had a vision to land on the moon when it had never been done before, when a metal craft had never been shot out of the atmosphere and landed on another planet. That is insane, you guys, and it happened. Those things happened because those people had a vision and they had an unwavering belief that it would happen and no matter how many times they failed how many times they had to rework their ideas they had an unwavering belief that they could make it happen and that's the true potential and true glory of being a human is that you can create whatever you want to create our minds are huge this connection we have with each other is huge because we get to work with one another we get to create new ideas with one another. We get to envision whatever we want and create it in this world. And that is truly huge, you guys. But all it first takes is having that vision and then having unwavering belief in its potential. And it's, uh, it's kind of like me with creating this channel. I, when I created this channel, like I said, I was lost, I was confused, I was depressed, like I didn't know what was gonna happen, but I had a vision in my head that I really wanted to create a space and a community for healing, for transformation, and for people to feel freed of burdens and limitations that we've put on ourselves, just like the saying, I'll believe it when I see it, that's a limitation we put on ourselves. And I created this channel with the idea and the vision that I wanted to make a space for people to feel happy and joyful and free and bonded with one another and I didn't know how that was gonna happen there was times like when I've created videos that I didn't think were great but a lot of people really enjoyed them and I still posted them because I have a belief that in taking action every single day from that space of knowing that I'm intentionally creating this community that is going to involve into evolve into something beautiful and wonderful and help people like possibly you who's watching right now and that coming from that space lifts me up every single day because I have the undying knowing that it is going to happen that manifestation is going to become a reality in my life and that's what's going to take for you to really create what you want in your life whether that's more money whether that's a relationship whether that's a car whether that's um, a scholarship whether that's moving someplace and creating a whole new life it's going to take unwavering belief unwavering faith that you can do that and you have to come from that space every single day to make it a reality and it's it's really hard to believe in something that has not yet been seen because it's you don't have any prior experience with it and i get that i totally get that but it's kind of just like fake it till you make it you guys have heard that before so just Fake it till you make it. Pretend like it's already happening and it's going to happen, I promise. But you just have to have the undying belief that it's going to happen and do not waver from that whatsoever. No matter how much of that fearful mindset comes in, no matter how many people tell you you're crazy, no matter how many people tell you, like for me, oh, Hawaii is so expensive, you shouldn't move there. I really wanna move there. And I just, I don't let those things infiltrate my mind because I have the unwavering belief and knowledge that I'm going to move there. I'm going to make that happen. I'm going to make this channel a space where people feel comfortable and freed. I have that unwavering belief that those things are going to happen. And my notes just canceled on me, but that's okay because you guys are still here with me. And it's just like 
Jim Carrey when he wanted to manifest $10 million for acting services rendered. And he did that. He came from knowing that he was going to create that $10 million in his life when he was living in his car eating cans of beans. He would, he made a paycheck or a check out to himself for $10 million saying, acting services rendered and he sat there every single night I can't remember where it was he would drive up to in Los Angeles but he would drive up there every single night and get himself into the space of believing that that was going to happen in knowing that that was going to happen and he took actions from that space to create his reality. So he didn't just sit there and believe that it was gonna happen. He then took action because he was motivated from knowing that that was going to occur in his life. He was going to be making $10 million and that's so exciting. And so he would take action from that space of knowing every single day and he did. He actually made that $10 million, I believe it was three days before he had dated the check. So he had dated it for like three years out on Thanksgiving and he made that $10 million three days before the date that he had written on his check, which is super cool. And same for um, Walt Disney, Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins, he had, he came from a past like of a traumatic childhood and when he was living in a 440 square foot apartment and realized that his first child was on his way, on its way, he had a strong focus and knowledge and belief that he was going to create a childhood for his child unlike what he had. He wanted to give that child everything he possibly could and so because he had that knowing and belief that he could do that and he was going to make that happen no matter what, he did it and he was able to get himself out of being broke, get himself out of that tiny apartment and create the life that he wanted for his child. And so as you can see it just comes from first having unwavering belief in what you want and as someone who's new to the manifesting world it's so easy to let other people's mindsets infiltrate you it's so easy to let fear infiltrate you it's so easy to just pretend like oh that's too hard it's never gonna happen and that right there you guys that is the manifestation in and of itself and you telling the universe oh Oh, it's this is too hard. It's never gonna happen. Bam never gonna happen Because you have belief that it's never gonna happen You have to have unwavering belief that it is going to happen and it will happen and Your life is whatever you believe it is you your thoughts that you allow in and the actions that you take create your life so if you first don't start with a belief then your life isn't going to be what you want it to be it's just going to be the life that everyone's told you happens like you go to school you get a job you get married you have a kid bing bang boom you know it's not going to be that vision that you have for yourself unless you first start with belief and so let this video be permission for you to believe truly steadfast and unwavering in your vision. I am giving you that permission right now. So I want you to close your eyes and I want you to think of your vision. Think of it right now. What does it look like? What does it taste like? What does it smell like? What does it feel like? And know that that is going to happen. That is going to happen. I promise you, if you believe and stay true and stay unwavering in that vision, that is going to happen in your life. And now open your eyes and know that it is true. It is going to happen in your life, I promise you, but you must first start with the belief in it. You must first start with the as much belief as you have in knowing that I have a nose on my face, you must believe that that vision is true and it's coming for you, okay? And work from that space. In my next video for next week, you guys, I wanna share with you another tip that's going to really help to build that foundation to help you manifest whatever it is you wanna manifest in your life. 
okay? So it's gonna be really exciting and I'm trying to break this down for you guys so that it's simple and easy to, to digest because I know there's so much out there right now. There's so much you can be infiltrated by, but know that this video first and foremost is about instilling that belief in your vision. Unwavering, steadfast belief. And next week's video, we're gonna cover another topic that's really gonna help you power it up, power up that manifestation. And I will see you guys next time. Whew.